Good evening, folks. This is uh, Aaron Quaker. Just wanted to touch base with everybody. Um, wanted to let you know, Aaron, uh, Michelle and I are doing well, and Landon is doing well. Uh, Michelle and I are both still working. Um, Landon has probably, I would say, has probably had the toughest time of every, any of us here at the, here at our house uh, just because uh, losing his track season and having the end of the, his senior year cut short. But uh, as, as we go through that, it kind of brings me to uh, kind of the topic that I want to talk about. Uh, uh, Pastor John asked me to talk about what I was thinking about and what I was seeing uh, with the virus and how that was affecting or how God was working in our lives with this. And uh, the topic I wanted to talk about is uh, perseverance. Um, I guess the easiest way to, to explain some of it is... Uh, I go back to my coaching background and football playing days is uh, uh, per perseverance. If, you, if you're uh, playing football and you're calling football plays, uh, you're not necessarily calling football plays to hit that home run on the first play. Uh, you're, you're setting up plays. It's a lot like chess where you're setting plays up to where two, three, four plays down the road, I'm going to come back to something similar to what I called and that might set, give me that home run. Or I might just wear down the defense by running the ball, running the ball, running the ball. And we're in the second half where we just turn around and, hey, we, we kind of win the game just physically by out, outmanning the other team. Um, the other part of it is, is talking about physically outmanning people is as an offensive lineman, uh, as I coached and as I uh, played, you know, uh, we talked about grinding and playing every play, keep working, keep grinding, and and that's how offensive linemen look at, at the at the game itself, and uh, that's how we were getting ready, uh, how we took the view of the football game. So, and that's all about perseverance. Um, today, with our social distancing and the COVID virus, we're in a whole lot of unknowns and. Get it, you know, city government. We're we're trying to do the best we can with uh, keeping people safe and doing the things that we can as city governments. And uh, but we need to we need to constantly pers persevere through all these tough times. Um, as I went back into the Bible to try and find a, something to talk about this, I you know I the the first and foremost person I came up with was Paul, and so I found. I went back and in uh, 2 Corinthians 4, 7 through 18, uh, I found, but we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all surpass, that this all surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but do, but not to in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always be, being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may also be revealed in our mortal body. So then, death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. It is written, I believe, it is written, I believed, therefore I have spoken. Since we have that same spirit of faith, we also believe and therefore speak, because we know that one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us with Jesus and present us with you to himself. All this is for your benefit, so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Therefore, outwardly, we are wasting away, yet inwardly, we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that for, far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. So, as we go through the unknown times of this virus... We know we will be hard-pressed or struck down, but God will not let them destroy us. So, yes, the, this virus is scary. This virus is dangerous. But we also have that faith in God that, you know what? We all will die at some point in time. But the good Lord is here to take care of us all, and he's going to do that. 
persevere through these tough times. We all know it's hard. We, we all know that it's difficult to not being able to see our friends and be with you in, in church or just to communicate with other people. We as a society and we as people are not meant to be segregated. We are meant to be social with people. But stay strong. Be with each other. Counsel as many people as you can over the phone, set, so, uh, socially distanced, of course, and know that God loves you, and we as a church love each other also. So you all take care. Uh, I look forward to seeing you all in church when we start having uh, public services again and uh, hopefully get to sing again, too. Kind of miss that. So you all take care. Good luck, and we will see you again.